Hello everyone, how are you? Uh, today we're going to be uh, making three cards featuring the Daffodil Daydream Bundle, which is this one. This is the stamp set and here is the coordinating um, die set that you're going to be um, get or that you're going to be using for the cards today. Um, I love this um, this bundle mainly because it coordinates with the um, Daffodil Afternoon Designer's Newspaper from the Celebration Offering, which by the way is ending at the end of this month. So we only have what about like seven, eight days left. So make sure you check that out because this is the last few days and all the products from the Celebration are going to retire pretty much after the 28th. So anyway, if this is the first time you are connecting, um, my name is Alejandra Gomez from creatingwithali.com and I teach others how to make cards and I have regular card making classes and I'll be talking a little bit here in a second, but before I dive in, make sure you are on my mailing list. I just wanna make sure or point that out. Um, I have it on the description of this video if you're watching this on Facebook it's going to be here in the top if you're watching this on YouTube it will be below so make sure you check that out it should say something like um bit.ly forward slash stay connected with Ali that way you get information about upcoming classes um the replay for the Facebook lives if you cannot make it also I do share every week the link of the or like a pdf that has the link to the replay as well as the picture of the cars as well as a full supply list so that you know exactly which products i use and um you just need to click them if you want to get them and so anyway it just makes it very easy for you to get all your supplies uh to make the cars but anyway like i said we're going to be making or we're going to be featuring the daffodil delight no the daffodil daydream bundle which is on page 37 of the um, July, January through June uh, mini catalog. And um, I just love it. And like I said, I love it even more because it coordinates with that gorgeous paper. So, but before we go in, let me just make sure I say hello to everyone. Hi, Lila. Hi, Dawn. Thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate it. Hi, Linda. Let me just go back. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Angie. Hi, Barbara. So, oh, hi, Paula. So anyway, so thank you so much for tuning in. Um, just um, like I mentioned, I have a few classes and in fact, I'm going to be sharing with you a sneak peek of an upcoming class. So the first one you already seen is the, um, what is this class? The um, STEM camp that is going to happen in March. So registration is already open. I've already sent emails about this card. I'm trying to put them all. It includes nine um, cards, nine projects. I think I do better on the sneak peek picture that is on my group. So make sure you are on my Facebook group as well so that you can see them. And there is an add-on class. So I have uh, the stamp camp plus a card, that you, a card class that you can add. And that one is featuring the Friends of the Forest card, uh, stamp set which um, I think they're really cute. And there's also a few, oh, let me show you this one. There's um, a couple of um, phone folds, but this one is particular, it's a new one to me. And look how, how beautiful this opens, right? So definitely, I think that you're gonna enjoy uh, making all the projects. And again, this is an additional class that you can add to your, to your card kit. Um, all right, so that's the, Oh, here's the other one. I don't know if I shared this one already. Okay, so those are the two classes coming up in March. Then um, I also have, let me just show you a sneak peek of a class that is gonna happen also later in March, which is featuring the Hello Ladybug. And I'm super excited about this one. I just love everything about it. I love all the colors. I mean, it features black and white with the um, ladybugs. I think it goes really well. And so later, um, later, I want to say that maybe in about a week or so, I might be sending the, um, the link to register. So make sure you are looking to that. I just fell in love with that one. I just film it. I need to just create the PDF and have it ready, but that's also the next card class for March. And then finally, or the last thing to show is the, um, a stamp, um, my club, my, Card Club, I should say. Oh my God, what am I saying? And so Card Club is a subscription. So every month you get a kit with about five projects and it has about 20 plus dollars in um, 
in product. This one actually was even better. I was just looking to that. It's above $25. I think it was higher than, than in the past, but it was really cute and it featured the same collection that we're using today. Um, next month is actually, or the one for March, is going to be featuring the Blessings of Home. And so here are the projects for that one. And um, I just love all the cars. I love the colors. Of course, there has the purples and I love purple. So definitely super happy with how these um, projects are showing up. And it is $39. Again, you subscribe and every month you get um, a kit to make. And when you stay with me for six months, subsequent months or six consecutive months, I should say, <laughs> um, you get... Um, you get an extra goodie bag of $25. Another perk that you get uh, for being part of my club is that if you purchase the bundle from um, feature from that club for that month, you actually get it at catalog price. So you don't pay neither the taxes or the shipping. So it's a little bit of a break for you. So definitely, I think you're gonna enjoy it. Um, and if you're interested for, on that, make sure you go to creatingwithali.com forward slash card club. You can read all the information about it and also you can sign up there. I also have it in the description of the video, so make sure you watch it. It's either here on the top on Facebook, on in YouTube, you can see it uh, below. And I also put a link somewhere here on YouTube so that you can um, go and check it out. Again, there's more information there, so make sure you get it. So anyway, so those are the upcoming classes. And then as far as uh, what's going on right now, we are ending celebration, and so, um, there's a few things that you need to know. First of all, um, remember, you get free items from this catalog. So every time you purchase $50, um, you get a free item from this catalog. And it's ending at the end of the February. So you have still, what, like seven, eight days? No, seven days, I think, or, or six, I don't know, six days, because it's the 22nd today. So uh, make sure you take advantage because all the products from here retire. So once celebration ends, you cannot get any of these items and Stampin' Up! doesn't sell them anymore. So if there's any still there that are on your favorites, on your wish list, make sure you get it right away for this week. And also remember about the incentives that I have. So anyone placing orders uh, during February now, uh, that is at least $35, you'll get the Rainbow of Happiness tutorial bundle, which is this one, and it features um, the Rainbow of Happiness with the Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Series paper from the uh, celebration. And uh, it comes with 10, um, 10 projects. So that's for everyone placing an order of $35. If you hit $100, um, during celebration, so you might have already purchased with me in January, so those orders count towards the next uh, tutorial bundle. And uh, again, once you hit 100, you'll get also the tutorial bundle that is for celebration. And this one features um, mainly products from celebration, so you get more ideas and more inspiration on what to do with those sets that you're getting for free. And it also for 10 projects. Again, um, those are just my own uh, incentives just to make it even better as you place orders and the last if and the last thing is my free celebration celebration event which is um, an event that is gonna take place on March 27th you need to hit $150 uh, on orders between celebration again if you have placed orders with me in January those orders will count towards that and we're gonna have fun we're gonna have uh, five projects and again it's free and um, I have been already emailing some of you that are really close on getting it. And again, this is the last week to get it. So um, make sure you pay attention to those emails. And um, the last thing is um, about the um, bundle. Sorry, the, I don't know the bundle, the starter kit, sorry. So, uh, which is the best bundle of the whole thing. Because you, if you have a large order, so if you're going to, if you're gonna have, if you're gonna place an order of a um, hundred dollars, the best thing for you is to get that starter kit, and all it is is that you get your products at a discount, and you can get a twenty percent discount of all your subsequent orders at least through June, and you can. Um, you can, uh, if you if you generate the sale or if you have your own purchases or whatever, you can continue for um, later on. But at least through June, 
you'll get that 20% discount. So it's really a good deal. And the cool thing about it right now is that you actually get two additional stamp sets for free. So uh, again, you just pick $125 worth of products. You only pay $99 plus tax. There's no shipping, so you end up saving 10% and you get two additional stamp sets of your choice as well as um as well as a uh, paper pumpkin kit for free and um like i said you only pay 99 dollars there's no shipping um and um it's ending at the end of this month so this is the last the last week for you to take advantage of that amazing um promotion um, because again, you're going to love it. And I would really, um, love to welcome you into my team. We have a lot of fun and I think that we have the best team ever. So anyway, so, um, those are the few things. So let me start flipping the camera. Oh, and by the way, if you have any questions about the Star King, please email me at ali at creatingwithali.com. I, I will be more than happy to help you place that order and how to do it. Again, there's no commitments. You don't have to be selling. You don't have to be teaching anything. Um, the option is there if you want to do it. But it could also be a great way for you to get all your stamping up supplies at a discount for as long as you want it. And like I said, at least it's through June. So anyway, um, let me um, let me flip the camera and we'll go from there because I'm super excited about today's projects. So let me see. Where are we? Let me flip the camera here. Whew. And here is the host code to use for today's um Facebook Live. Again, when you place an order with me, you get the cards to make the projects we're making today. And I promise you, you're going to love them. It features the Daffodil Daydream, as I said. This one in particular, I love the flowers, the dyes. Definitely, it's um, it's a great set to create uh, like 3D flowers, which you're going to see they look really nice. But the only thing here is that there's only two sentiments. So this one could go for Mother's Day, which is great, or for Easter. Um, so because I've done so many of the Easter uh, cards with this set, um, I'm going to be changing the sentiments from the one that says, uh, from the Artfully Layered, because I wanted to have the one for birthdays. Because I know I have already enough for the Easter. And so definitely for this time, I wanted to use the the birthday so i'm going to be using the sentiment for him but you can substitute with any other sentiment you have um so anyway so let's just get ahead oh and let me just show you well no i'll show you the samples here in a second then and like i said i'm going to be uh also oh i have it here i combined so don't pay attention to this section because this is my scraps from some of the sets um but this is the daffodil uh afternoon designer series paper and this is the one that you get for free when you place a $50 order uh, through stamping up and um and again it's just free it's part of the celebration offering and it's just really really nice paper you are going to be making so many cards that i i guarantee you're going to love it make sure you take advantage because again this is the last week to get it so okay so let's get with card number one and sorry about my reach um let's see I have all of these things. I just need to make sure I have all these things. Here we go. And I have already mounted, I think, all my, all my, um, mm -mm, it's this one, the one that we're gonna receive, all my stuff. So I'm gonna be using the one that has the single flower. And like I said, I'm gonna be using also the happiest birthday. As far as ribbon, you know me, um, I don't know yet which ones I'm going to be using. So I have three different um, ribbons that we might be using throughout this project. So one is the Flitty Flamingo Metallic Ribbon, which I love. Then we have the Bumblebee Gingham Ribbon and the Gold Ribbon because this one will also go really nice. Now, you could also use the, um, what is this? The Crinkle Same Binding Ribbon. And this one is on um, Basic White. And you can color these ones with any of the blends, which we can do in one of the cards so you can see it. I know I have um, demonstrated that a thousand times before. Um, and also as far as inks, because I'm going to be coloring with the blends, I'm going to be using the Memento. And then for my sentiments, I'm going to be using the Early Espresso. I love using the Early Espresso for my sentiments. I feel like it goes really well and it gets really dark. Um, so anyway, so I have here a scrap for my sentiment. Again, I'm going to be doing this one with Early Espresso. It is one inch, as you can see. 
The length doesn't matter because all I need is a little piece like this and then cut it out. So um, you just need enough of a piece um, to fit the sentiment, all right? So this is just a scrap that I have, and this is basic white. Then I have another scrap, which is where I'm gonna be stamping the uh, flower, and then I'm gonna cut it out uh, using the dice, okay? So this one in particular is two and one quarter by three and three quarters. Again, it's just enough to fit the flower, all right? So um, then we have a piece of basic white, no, basic black, and this one is two and, what is this, five eighths by four. And this one has been already pre-embossed. And let me turn on the lights. Hold on, give me a second, because I feel like it's too dark. Hopefully it gets better that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've used the Hype, um, what is this? Hold on, let me. It is new, it's also one of our newest um, 3D folders. So it is this one, it's called Hive. And look how nice it looks, right? So if you're using the um, Ladybug uh, bundle, you can use little bees and then use this folder and it will look really nice as well. So anyway, so that's that. Um, and then we have a piece of the Bumblebee and this one was cut out with um, the Escalope contours. I should have here, one of, it's one of my favorites. I've been using this a lot. So it is this one. And it is from the largest to the smallest one, the second one. So you can see it leaves a really nice border uh, around those escalopes. So definitely it's a really nice. And then this one, like I said, is coming from that Daffodil Daydream. No, Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper that I show you. And this one is two inches by five and three eighths. Okay. And then I have a piece of basic white. And this one is four by five and one quarter. And my car base is basic black, and this is eight and a half by five and a half. And we're gonna go ahead and fold it in half. So just put uh, your corners together and just use your bone folder to get a nice fold. This one is gonna go in the inside. Oh, and you know what? I should have, hmm, hmm, <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and then fold this one again in half. Yeah. There we go. And so this is where this one is gonna go, okay? I have a little piece of like, there you go. I'm like, there's something there. All right, so this one is gonna go here, and then this one is gonna go right here. All right, so let's just add our adhesive. All righty. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the same with these. And on this particular uh, paper, I love both sides. I think that this one is also really nice. Okay. And it will go really nice as well with, um, with the card that we're making. But anyway, I'm gonna go with this one. Then I have here, I'm gonna be putting this one right there. This one is gonna go right here. So let's just put these two together first. Now let's just make sure that anytime you are adding adhesive to pre-embose cardstock, try to have a really light hand so that you don't rip your paper. And then we're gonna go ahead and position this one. Ooh. There you go. There we go. And then uh, we're gonna have this section here. Now on this one, you only need adhesive on this section. So let's just go ahead and add this one. Just so that we are ready to go. Okay. 
Okay, now for the stamping, so this is how this is gonna open. So already looking really nice. Now for the stamping, we're gonna go ahead and bring our flower, our daffodil. And, ooh, where did I leave those? Hold on. Oh, here, okay. And I'm gonna be using Memento because I'm gonna be coloring with the um, stamping blends, which are alcohol markers. This is why you wanna be using Memento so that you don't smear any of the black as you are coloring. And I'm doing all of this because usually my Memento is not the greatest as far as um, getting a really dark black image. So I always have to ink it really well. Um, but you're gonna see it's gonna look really nice. There you go. And so then we're gonna bring this one. So for this card, I'm gonna be using Daffodil the Light Old Olive, and I do have also Fleet of Flamingo, okay? So we're gonna start with the light of the um, Old Olive. And we're just gonna go ahead and color the leaves. All right, and again, this is just a light. I always like to start with the light color and then add the shadows with the darker. I also, the first time I add the color, it is um, a really light hand so that when I do the blending, I can uh, separate. If you do too much of the coloring on the first hand, sometimes it ends up bleeding and getting outside the lines. So if you have a problem with uh, the bleeding or where the ink is outside, um, just try to make your first hand a little bit lighter, okay? Anyway, now we're gonna go with the darker of the old olive and we're just gonna be adding a little bit of um, shadow, like I said. All right, and then we're gonna bring back the uh, light color and then we're gonna be doing the art blending. Now, I tried to do most of my blending in the middle section and this is why I, and this is where I would oversaturate the paper, right? So that's, this is why the first hand is not that, um, it's not that heavy in ink if you mean what I mean, if you know what I mean. Anyway, here is this section and I'll do a close up here in a second. I know it's kind of hard um, to see. And again, I am trying to do most of my blending in the middle section, not so much on the outside. Or on the lines, not the outside, but on the lines, I should say. There we go. And let me do a little close up so that you can see how it looks. Here you go, see? So the blending looks better. And if you have any questions, let me know. Again, thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate when you share. It helps me a lot. Hi, Patricia. All right, let me see. No questions. I'm just trying to go through here. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Eileen. All right, so now next we're going to go with the Daffodil the Light. And um, for these ones, I'm going to start first with the lighter version. And... I'm just going to go ahead and kind of color the outer petals from this flower. And this one is a little bit more messy, or messier I should say. It's a little bit... You can see that for this um, inner section, let me do a close up again so you can see it. I'm not coloring the whole thing. As you can see, I'm leaving some areas white and that's okay. Then I'm gonna bring the uh, dark of the daffodil the light and then here, I'm just gonna go over the lines. And then here, I'm gonna go
Okay. This one, oh, just gives him, um, you can see it again. See, it's just add a little bit something. And then I can go back with this one. I feel like I could just add a little bit here, not a lot. Just to blend a little bit, but not a lot. There you go. Um, now, to add something, I thought about adding a little bit of the um, Flitty Flamingo. And I put first the dark in this case, and then I'm going to be adding just a little bit. It's not a lot. You can see it's just a little bit here just to add something on there. You can leave it white if you want it, or you can do it also with the yellow. It will be fine regardless. And then we're going to bring our dice, okay? And... Um, one of the tips that I'm going to give you with this, especially for sets that have a gazillion of dice, is that you do all the line outs, right? So that way you know exactly where these go, how they position, because everything has some sort of adhesive. And you want to make sure you have all your pieces. And also, if you're missing one, you know exactly which one is missing. So I would suggest, first of all, make sure that on your dice, you outline and then peel the ones that you need. So anyway, so for this one, I'm going to be using this. And I'm going to run it through my die cut machine, my cut and emboss machine, right? And you can see it's just a matter of, uh, there you go, like that. And so with the magic of the TV, I have it here ready to go, okay? So this is that one. And I'm doing that just because uh, sometimes I take so long in these videos. <laughs> so anyway, so we have this piece ready to go. Oh, I don't have this one. And then for this, we're going to go ahead and use the, um, where is my color? The early espresso, like I said. And by the way, this is one of the cards that we made at our uh, Silver Elite um, reception. Um, on our team, once we reach Silver Elite, we have a special event um, where we make... Uh, project so this is one of them i just love it so much that I decided to case it for this for this uh project like i said our team has so many fun events and um definitely i know you're gonna enjoy it um so anyway so we're gonna go ahead and cut it out and then i'm gonna cut it out and make it even tighter um There you go. Um, yeah, I think it looks okay. And then we're going to go ahead and um, cut this one in an angle. All right, I think that this one looks okay. So I'm going to be putting this one like so. Have this one here and maybe add a bow here. Now, the bow, this is where I don't know exactly which one I'm going to be using. I feel like this one will be okay, or the gold one. Even the Flitter Flamingo might look okay for this car. Who knows? Let's just see. Um, as you know, ooh, I may just, I want to put it like so, so that it's like a bouquet, right? Oh, it actually looks really nice. So this one is one option. Let's look with this. This is the gold shimmer uh, ribbon from the annual catalog. All right, ooh. I don't know about this one, what do you think? This one doesn't look uh, bad either. And then we have, like I said, this one, which I know I'm gonna be using in the next card. Um, let's see. This is the Flirt of Flamingo. And maybe because I have that little Flirt of Flamingo showing up, this might look, ooh. So, oh, that one pop up really nice. I think I like that one better. What do you think? I think I like this one. Let me see. Which one is your favorite? I think that either the gingham or this one. Um, I think that, oh, thank you, Judy. You're so nice. I think that this one actually pop up more because everything is the yellow. So I'm leaning towards the, um, the, uh, what is this called? Or Flitter Flamingo. So I'm going to go with that one. I haven't seen Flitter Flamingo. Okay. Pam says Flitter Flamingo. Good deal. <laughs> Good deal. I was like, I have not seen anything. All right. So let's just go ahead and 
put the Flare Flamingo. I think that's our winner for right now. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to be popping up everything here. Um, we have that one and this one and maybe one more here. You know what? I probably need to. So I'm going to move Ooh, this one there so I can add another one like right here. There you go. And maybe one more here. And I think that will be enough, I think. I think that should be enough. There you go. Yeah. Nope. Maybe one more here. Somehow I feel it's off. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So let's just put this one. Um... All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add this one right here. We're gonna have that one right there. So I need also dimensionals right here on this section. And this one could go, actually I need one more here on the bottom. Where's the bottom here? That way it doesn't cave. There we go. So I can put this one like right here. And then we can add the um what is this? The flare flamingo. Yes. Here. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add this one like right here. Okay, and then to make it even nicer, of course, we're going to be adding some of these butterfly brush breast butterflies, which, oh my god, these are my favorite. I love that they're really flat, and um, uh, they don't add, add a lot of bulkiness to the cards, you know, but they look really, really cute. So, and of course, with flowers, oh my goodness, it just looks, oh, let's just put one here, oh. There we go. We're going to add you one here. One of the little ones. Oh, goodness gracious. I want to have it like so. Oh, and maybe one more here, don't you think? Like, yes. Yes, here. There you go. And look how beautiful this looks, right? And super easy, don't you think? And again, this is the paper that is retiring at the end of February. So you still have a few more days to get the paper for free. And like I said, it's really, really nice. What do you think? Do you like it? So this is our card number one. Um, the Flitter Flamingo Pola, this is from the annual catalog. This is actually on the annual catalog, so it's not in the mini. Um, oh, and by the way, before I forget... Um, the bumblebee, it's one of the ink colors that are going to be retiring by with the release of the new catalog, which is going to be in May. So I think in March, you have to make sure you order any of the colors that are retiring, which is the Misty Moonlight, which is one of the favorites, Bumblebee, Just Jade, um, Magenta Madness, and I'm forgetting one more. Oh, Cinnamon Cider. Um, no. Oh, yeah. Cinnamon cider, yeah, yeah. So those are the five colors that are retiring in uh, in May. So I would um, I would think that sometime between, like if by April, most of the times those colors are gone because they're gonna be retired. So if you like the ink pads, make sure you order an uh, reinkers, and if you like the paper, make sure you order a few of those um, car stocks because those are gonna be retiring by May. And in April, we're gonna have the retiring list. And so usually by the time we post that return list, those colors are long gone. So if you're still loving those colors, make sure you order them before they retire. And like I said, especially re-inkers. Make sure you got those re-inkers so that you're ready to go. So anyway, um, so here's our card number one. So now for card number two, well, let me take this piece. Um, we have everything with the Flare Flamingo. 
and I've already done this section, so uh, which you saw me do a second ago, so I won't be doing this one again. Um, so let's just go with that. Although I have these pieces thinking I might want to do it the bumblebee. You can see bumblebee and daffodil little light. I went with daffodil little light, so we'll see if I like it that one. If not, we'll use bumblebee. Okay. Um, but anyway, so for this one, we have our car base is. Uh, eight and a half by five and a half. Again, it is the Flitter Flamingo. I do have a piece of Flitter Flamingo that is four by five and one quarter. Is that right? Yeah, four by five and one quarter. And so this one is going to go right here. And I've also uh, pre-embossed this one with the Hive 3D embossing folder. And I have a piece of the gorgeous designer series paper. And this is, again, from the Daffodil, the, um, Daffodil Afternoon from Celebration. Again, you get it for free with any order of $50. And this one is two and a half by five. And so you're going to put it somewhere like so. And actually, I think I want this one so I can show the yellow there. And then we have a piece of very vanilla. And this one is two and a half by five. Four. Okay, so this one is going to go right here and we're going to be putting this one somewhere here. Now for the colors in this one, we're going to be using the, um, let's just put these things. We're going to be using the larger flower. Okay. And same thing as with the other one, we're going to go ahead and use the uh, memento. So just make sure you ink it well. And again, I do have to go extra heavy in my case just because usually I don't know it doesn't ink that well for me unless I put a lot of ink here and I have re-inked my pad so I don't know I think it's someone mentioned it's also um like the like the temperatures here in Texas who knows who knows anyway it's kind of tight as you can see let me see here and maybe I should have given a little bit more. That's okay. It will be okay. I think. Oop, there you go. Oh, no. It looks perfect. <laughs> All right. So it, it, it looks good. And um, same thing as with the other one. All right. We're going to go ahead and use the, uh, what is this, old olive. I'm going to be using petal pink. And then I'm going to be using the um, Fleet of Flamingo. All right, so this is these are the colors that I'm going to be using. And I got the inspiration idea from this paper. Let me show you. Oh, here. There's a shorter, smaller section. You see how you have Little Flamingo with petal pink and white? This is where I got the inspiration. At least a little bit of how I'm going to be coloring my flowers. Um, so same as with the other one, we're going to start with the leaves. And so um, first, again, light hand with um, light of the um, old olive. I have to think here. This, this image is a little bit, um, I don't know. You have to kind of be thinking more where to color so just pay attention you know as to like follow the leaves i should say right like follow the leaves to know which sections go white which sections go in color i like this one this this one same and then this one is this one Alrighty, and then I'm only, oh, I went outside the lines here. There you go. All right. So, oh, we're missing this one. Look, so you just have to be. There you go. Okay. So we have them there. Then we're going to go ahead and get the darker of the old olive
And then we're gonna go ahead and color again with the um, lighter, okay? And this is where we do all the blending. Again, try to go more um, in the middle section rather than the edges, right? And I get too quiet, sorry. Um, yeah, sometimes it's kind of harder to be coloring when talking, but yeah. Um, this one. There we go. And I'll do a plus up here. There we go. All right, so this one, we have it here. You can see how it looks, right? Oh, I didn't do anything here. Oh, I could see the lines. There you go. Let's do the close up here. There you have it, okay? And then we're gonna be doing the flowers. Now for the flowers, I'm gonna go first with the light. We're gonna be doing kind of like the same same thing as we did with the daffodil, the light ones. We're gonna go ahead and kind of, this one, I'm trying not to color the whole thing because I want some of it in the white, kind of like the flowers that we sew on the, um, uh, on the designer series paper. Alrighty. Okay. And then on this one, same thing. Alrighty. Then I'm going to go with the darker. And I'm just going to add the lines here. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring the Fleeter Flamingo. And for this ones, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit here. And this is the light. And a little bit here. All right. And I can give a little bit more of color with the darker. Um, just to flip it up a little bit. There you go. So I used to give it more color here. And there you have it. Oh, here. Okay. Now, once we have that, so this one is all, um, it's like in the lighter colors. Again, the inspiration came from um, the designer series paper, right? So kind of like this one. And so I went with that for these, which I thought it would go really well with these, uh, with this one. And then have this one like so look how beautiful this looks right so anyway so let's go ahead and start putting all the pieces together and let's just go ahead and and now for this one um we're gonna go ahead and add the adhesive
And this one is showing like so. And then this one will be like so here. And should I pop up the whole thing, you know? Might look nicer if we pop up the whole thing. Or maybe just this one, yeah. Because I'm going to be popping up this one. So let's just do just the sentiment and the... Um, the car front. Okay, so now we're going to be putting this one like so. Ooh, a little bit more towards the center. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, because I want to see these. Okay, then I'm going to be adding this one like right here. And, but let's just add first all the dimensionals here because we need dimensionals on this section. I know, uh, Pat, this is uh, this design on the paper pack. It's one of my favorites too. I'll show you another card that I made with that one that is super easy. So if you are needing some quick and easy cards uh, with design and serious paper, I'm going to show you here another card that you can do. Ooh, let's do one more. Alrighty. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All righty. All righty. Oh. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> uh. Seriously? I lost four of them. Give me a second. Let me add four more here. Ah, oh, goodness gracious. At least it didn't rip the paper. Okay, here, one more and one more. Oh, this one is too close. There you go. I mean, they were strong, as you saw. Okay. Whew. Alrighty, so now... We're going to be centering them. Anytime I do tone on tone, I like to put in with dimensionals, right? <laughs> I know, Pat, we both like to put so many dimensionals. <laughs> um, but anyway, anytime I do tone on tone, like in this case, the card base with the card front are the same. I love doing it with the dimensionals because that way you can really see the layers, right? And they just look more appealing in person. So anyway, so now we're going to be adding this one, maybe like so, so that you can still see a little bit of that. Yep, like that. Yep. And then let's see, do we want to add another bow? Let's see. I'm not sure about this one because there's a lot of the flowers in the background. And um, But we can do this one as well as if it were a bouquet, right? A bouquet of flowers like we did on the other one, which is the one. Let's see. What do you think? I don't know that I like the bow in this case. Should I put it more in the... I don't think I like the the bow in this case. What do you think? No bow? I don't think uh, it's adding a lot to it. What do you think, guys? Uh, let's see. Bow or no bow? Oh. I don't see any comments. All right, so I'm gonna go without the bows because I don't think, but I'm gonna be adding some of the butterflies because you know me, I still have to have some sort of embellishment on my card. I cannot go without bows and gems, <laughs> right? So let's go ahead and put this one like so, yep. I'm going to go with the, yeah, I don't think it needs the, the bow, you know, but definitely let's just add some of the butterflies. Ooh, actually, I'm going to go here and 
there. And one more here. I'm going to put one more here. You know? Oh, maybe one more there. Actually, not a small one, but another of the large ones. You know? Well, I don't know. I don't... I don't think I like the four. No, I'm going to leave it with three. I think four is too much. I thought about that. So anyway, so what do you think? Now, of course, you can be adding Wink of Estella. I totally forgot on the other one. But we can be adding Wink of Estella to our... Oh, yeah, definitely. You can be adding Wink of Estella to your flowers. Oh, yeah. It looks even better. I'll do a close-up so you can see it. And in fact, we should be adding it also on the previous card. Wow, yeah. Look at that. Okay, so what do you think? See, can you, can you see the... Oh, I don't know if I can capture the... Oh, you can see a little bit there. There you go. You can see the flowers with a wink of Estella. They add a little bit of that shimmery look that it looks really nice. Anyway, let's just go ahead and add also wink of Estella on this flower as well. This was our cart number one. So if you're just tuning in, this is the first cart we've made. And so if you're just joining us, you can watch the replay to see how this one is done. Let's just show you. Oh, can you see the wink of Estella? Oh, I don't know if you can. There you go. Looks really nice. So anyway, so here we go. Now we're going to go ahead to the third one. Now the third one I'm very excited because it's the one that we're going to be uh, doing our... Um, the 3D flower, well, not 3D flowers, but you know, with the die cuts. So let me just bring this one. So for this one, I do remember adding my adhesive sheet as I was die cutting it. So I die cut all my pieces um, in Daffodil Delight. So let me just show you here. Daffodil Delight. Uh, let me see where it's here. And then very vanilla. And then all the accents are in the bumblebee. Okay, now the accents are the one that I added the adhesive sheet as I was like cutting it. And like I said, usually I forget to do this step, but you just add a piece of the adhesive sheet. And when you cut it out, it makes it a sticker. So these are gonna be stickers. There's already adhesive on them. And then here are the other sections, right? So you can see here all the little pieces that I, that I cut. This is uh, Mossy Meadow, Daffo Little Light, Very Vanilla, and then um, Bumblebee, okay? And again, you can just cut out all of them from one strip. Then I also have um, a piece of Very Vanilla to make the sentiment, so we're going to be using also the Happiest Birthday. And um, oh, and then we have, oh, I, and then I have a piece of uh, Bumblebee. This is half of an inch by, uh, what is this? by five and three quarters and i have a piece of the oh very vanilla and this is four by yeah four by five and one quarter and this one uh, is in very vanilla and i've already pre-embossed this one with the macrame 3d folder which it is this one but i could i could have used also the hive embossing folder so you just need embossing folder to add some texture to your card to your car stock. And then I have a piece of the Daffodil Daydream, and here it is again. Uh, no, Daffodil Afternoon, which again is part of the celebration offering. And this is two and a half by five and three quarters. No, and three eighths. So we're going to be adding these two together, right? This is going to go like so. And then we're going to have all the flowers here. And by the way, this car idea, I kind of case it from uh, another fellow demonstrator. I don't know her name, but I know her blog was Creating with Christy, which it's kind of like my name, right? Like Creating with Ali, there's a Creating with Christy. And I found her on Pinterest. And I thought her card was really nice. She used a different designer series paper and I think a different embossing folder. She didn't have that piece. But in essence, it's the same card pretty much. I love casing and just add a little bit of uh, different things to make it my own. But uh, her card was gorgeous, and actually that's how I got the inspiration for this card. So anyway, so now for this one, we're gonna go ahead and same thing, stamp at the very bottom, the happiest birthday wishes. Oh, there you go. 
and we're gonna be cutting it also. But before we do that, let's just go with this section. Now, all of these, as you can see, have a uh, detail, right? And so this one will go with that one. This one goes with this one. Um, this one goes with this one and that one. And then this one. Now, the only thing for this one is looking the one that kind of has like a little mountain here, right? Because the other ones are more like a curve. But this one has a mountain. And there's one that has also a mountain, which is like this one, right? The other ones are more like curve. So once you find out that one, it kind of matches perfectly. You see that? So only guide yourself with this one that has like a little mountain thing, if that makes sense. And, um, and then here's the tricky part here. You peel it off. Again, where's my little mountain? Here we go. And this is why I want to make it a stickers, right? Cause then, there you go. Then you don't have to be uh, messing around with adhesive, right? You could also use the, um, what is the other one that I use a lot? The adhesive, um, the fine tip glue pen. I love that one. In fact, I would have used that one if I uh, had forgotten using the adhesive sheets, which is typically what happens with me. Um, but this time, like I said, I, I remember to put it on. So making it very easy for us to put all the pieces. There we go. Same. And everything is a sticker. Um, alrighty. This is one of my favorite uh, bundles, to be honest. It's just really, really nice. And I love the flowers. You can color or you can build your own. And they, you can also switch colors. You can do this one with Fleeter Flamingo, Petal Pink, and the white. Or do this one in vanilla. Kind of like what we did for the color. So you can also be uh, playing with the different um, papers, too. So... And though they look kind of intimidating, they really are not, to be honest. They're really easy, as you can see. Oh, let me put this section this way. I feel like I'm my, my thing here is just trying to line them up. Uh, there we go. There you go. Mm hmm. Let's just line them up. Uh, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. How about that, huh? And now for these ones, we're just going to go ahead and kind of make them like so. And then have this one like this. And then for these ones, we're going to have this one like so. And then have this one come here. See? Does they look nice or what? All right, let's just add. Now, for this part, I'm just going to add the um, um, glue dots. That's just way easier. There you go. And I have this one come here. Now, for this one, I may just use a... Should I use, um, let's try it with the uh, dimensional. We'll see if we like it. And if not, then we can do, yeah, I think I like the dimensional. It gives a little more, yeah. And then for this one, let's do first a glue dot right in the center. And then we're going to have this one come like so, right? And let me see which side do I like better. Yep, there you go. And then we're going to go ahead and add another dimensional two. Uh, this one. There you go. See? Beautiful. 
Um, where is this other pieces? All right, so now we have all of these. Oh, we haven't cut this one. Let's cut this one so that we're ready to go with the card. Oh, 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 oh don't, don't fall. Hold on. So like, don't fall, because we need these ones. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and cut out our sentiment. Oh, somewhere here. All right. And we're gonna have this one and that one. Okay, and then let's go ahead and, uh, oops, sorry, keep moving the camera. Now we're going to go ahead and put this one's here, right? So let's just go ahead and add adhesive. Again, this paper is retiring at the end of this month, and you can only, you can only get it for free when you place an order, so do take advantage of this paper. All right, now we're going to be adding this one right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. And we're going to be adding it like so. And you know that I always put it a little bit larger so I can cut out whatever excess. Um, because sometimes when you cut it exactly the same, um, the same size, um, you are short by like a hair, right? So, there you go. And so, now, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and add this one. And I'll be adding, um, let me see, I want that one here. This one, and I want this one right here, right? So I want that one right here. This one showing more like so, right? And down. Where's the other one? Then I want this one somewhere here, and having her here, and then have this one right there right and then i'm going to trim out all of these pieces right this is how it's going to look so now for this section we're going to be adding glue dots i think that's going to be the easiest because we can hide them nope but you can see how this starts to look all right so let's go ahead and add like and again, you just hide those little areas. Let me just put it here for a second so I know about where I need it. Okay. Then I'm going to be putting this one here. And I'm putting all of them so I know where to position them. Okay. Like this one goes here. This is where I want it. Right. So this one has to go below that section. And again, you could also use adhesive sheets. I should have also done adhesive sheets with this one. I don't know what I didn't do it. Um, you could also use the um, liquid tombow. Uh, want it? Yeah, there you go. About right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and add this one. Uh, there you go. With dimensionals. Now this one is gonna go with dimensionals. <sighs> I'm actually the dimensionals. I'm gonna be adding at the end so that I can put everything flat. Yeah, but I know where that goes. And then this one, it's going to go somewhere here. I want it shorter. 
so that you can see both of the flowers are shorter. So that's where this one should go. Alrighty. All right, and then for this one, we're gonna go ahead and add it like right here, right? Yep. Oh, hold on. This one goes there. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and trim this section. There you go. Same. Now, this one, cool, let me cut out all this. <clears throat> All right, so now that we have that, we're gonna go ahead and, and fold this with our foam folder. We're gonna put this one right here, right? There you go. I'm gonna add this one also flat. And we're gonna be adding those flowers with dimensionals. Um, again, when you're adding adhesive on a piece that has been pre-embossed, make sure you have a light hand. There you go. Oh. There you go. All righty. And then I'm gonna be adding this one like so. Look at that. This one is gonna go with dimensionals. I'm gonna go ahead and add this one right here. Oh, there's a little bit of cricket. There you go, much better. And then we're going to be adding this ones as well with dimensional. So I'm going to be adding like three dimensionals and maybe, oh, like one here. I don't know that I can fit. Maybe I can put like half dimensionals. Let's see, does they fit? Definitely one here. And I feel like I need to add one more here and one more there. Oh, there you go. You didn't see them. Okay, that's good. Otherwise, we have to cut them smaller. Oh, where's... There you go. Look at how beautiful they look, right? And they look kind of 3D, which I love. And then of course, we're gonna be adding those butterflies, cause why not? Like I said, this is like my favorite embellishment nowadays. They just look, how do I put it? Ooh, 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 I think I like, I think they pop up better on the, on the very vanilla, so I'm just gonna go ahead with this one here and this one right here. Actually, let's just put one right here and then one more here. There you go. 
Yes. Mm hmm I could also add one more here, but anyway, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not really sure that it needs this one uh, ribbon, mainly because it already has too many things here going on. You can try to add a ribbon, but I don't I don't think it, it goes well, right? I think I'm gonna leave it that like so. It looks already really nice. But if you want, you can add a bow or something too. Oh, so, oh, let me see. So anyway, so what do you think? Do you like it? I really like how these daffodils look. And the uh, dimensionals add a lot of, um, I don't know, dimension <laughs> to the cart. So definitely love, love, love using the dimensionals for for the die cut. So anyway, so let's just put all the cards together and you let me know which one is your favorite. I just love them all, to be honest. Um, I think this one is my favorite just because of the dimension. Although I always love a good uh, easy foam fall. So number one is also a favorite. And I love the colors on the two. So anyway, I'm kind of torn, but of course... <laughs> That is just me. And again, make sure you place an order between now and Saturday to get the card kit to make all these cards. You'll need to have, of course, the Daffodil Afternoon uh, bundle to make them. Um, but the good thing is that when you place an order with them, and I think, let me just tell you what's the price. Hold on before you go. But the price of the bundle, it's, um, let's see, the bundle is 54 So when you get, just by getting the bundle, which would include the die set, right? And the uh, stamp set is 54, uh, it is 54 75 and you can get the designer series paper for free. So it is a good deal. And again, this is the last week to get them, uh, to get the designer series paper for free. We don't sell them anymore. After, um, after the 28th, those papers are gone and they're not gonna be available anymore. We never sell any of our DSP afterwards. Um, so definitely this is a great time to make sure you get it because it's really beautiful. And if you have that uh, bundle, you're going to see you're going to be using it over and over and over. Oh, but before you go, let me just show you two more cards. So this is another one. Let me take out out of the baggie. And again, it's funny enough, it's featuring the same paper that we use because this is the back of that one. Um, so this one, you can see I've used Daffodil Delight with Mango Melody. So it's a different combination. I think I like it better with Bumblebee, but it also looks really nice with the mango. And then here is another one. And you can see, like I said, I love the paper. So let me just show you this card again. And this one is just the paper. And I got the inspiration from Sandy Alman, who's who sent me a beautiful card. I don't know if I uh, share the card. I think I have. So let me just share it with you. This is her card. And look how beautiful this looks, right? Now, her papers were more um, um, not as busy as the designer paper that I choose because I chose the one with the flowers, right? And so in her case, she used uh, one of the flower as the pop-up. In my case, because this one was so busy, I decided to just put the sentiment. And as you can see, it's the same sentiment we used today. I just cut it out in a nice label, some of the butterflies. I did a stamp, um, what, this, um, what is this? The splatter from here and uh, just add a bow and here you go so you can see anyway like i said this is a great paper and i know you're gonna love it and also if you have a long wish list make sure you take advantage of that starter kit like i said this is the last uh week and you get two free stamp sets um you pick 125 dollars worth of products you only pay 99 dollars plus tax there's no cheaping so you end up saving even more and you get two additional uh stamp sets of any value of your choice for free and that promotion ends at the end of this month uh once you get the starter kit you will be part of my team and like i said my team is really awesome we have lots of uh, different events and um we have challenges so anyway i know you're gonna enjoy it if you have any questions let me know i also have it here in the description of this video um a link to buy that starter kit and if you have any questions by any means just email me at ali at creatingwithali.com i'll be more than happy to guide you through the process it's super easy but if you have any questions i'll be more than happy to help you and of course i would love to welcome you into my team so anyway so let me know which one is your favorite and i'll see you next week all right so thank you so much oh let me see some of the comments because i have been talking 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 and not 
<laughs> Hi, Carol. Better late than never. Of course. And of course, the replay is here, so you can watch it. Um, love the yellow and black. Oh, Kathy likes this one. Oh, ooh, oh, maybe that one. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, thank you, Pat. Glad you're liking it. Um, good, good, good. Hi, Sarah. You like the last one? Kathy likes the last one for... Ah, I like this one a lot, too. The phone fall is your favorite. Like I said, I love phone falls, too. Um, Don, you love number three. Oh, glad you're looking, liking them all. Um, Joanne likes also third. I think the third one is getting uh, some traction here. <laughs> They're all beautiful. One and three are your favorites for Helen. Oh my gosh. And like I said, you can get the kit to make these cards um, by placing an order using the host code. Um, the third one is your favorite. Make sure you get that designer, uh, that bundle so that you can make all the cards because I don't send stamp images. And uh, again, the paper is free during this week. Okay, well, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Pam. You are so sweet. So thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next week. Alrighty, bye for now.